In the van while still in his car seat. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. Authorities are investigating to see if the child's car seat was properly installed. We'll have to investigate that uh, and then also do interviews with the mother uh, to find out how it was buckled in and stuff before we determine anything like that. The nine-month-old girl remains in critical condition in the hospital. Her mother in fair condition. The driver of the oil tanker was not hurt. A former candidate for the Kansas House of Representatives is now in jail accused of kicking a police officer. Eric Bishop was arrested on Christmas Eve in Hutchinson when police responded to a domestic violence call involving him and a woman. Police say Bishop kicked an officer while being arrested. He pleaded not guilty to all charges in a court hearing last week. Bishop ran for office last year trying to unseat the Democratic representative Jan Poles. He lost by only eight votes in the primary. Well, many Kansas kids had to go back to school today after Christmas break, and boy, they had a cold wait at the bus stop. It won't be a heck of a lot better tomorrow. Let's get <laughs> details now from Dave Freeman in our first forecast, Dave. That's right. It's going to still be cold tomorrow morning, but then we'll start to gradually improve. Not out of winter coat territory yet, I don't think, but let's take a look at what you can expect. Starting off tomorrow morning for Wichita, it will be another cold start. 15 degrees first thing in the morning, up to 36 by lunchtime, and then how about that? I think we have a shot at breaking 40 tomorrow. 42 for the afternoon high in Wichita. Even better temperatures are coming. A nice January thaw in your forecast when I come back. Ah, that sounds good. Thanks, Dave. The clock is ticking down to the kickoff of the Fiesta Bowl tonight as K-State takes on the Oregon Ducks. KSN Sports Director Leon Liebel is there for the big game. Hello, everybody, from beautiful University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale, Arizona, where the roof will be closed for tonight's game, but K-State fans are hoping to raise it. The Wildcats take on the Oregon Ducks at tonight's Fiesta Bowl. Oregon now a seven-and-a-half-point favorite. But the Ducks outnumbered by those K-State fans. Another amazing turnout for the Purple Pride as thousands of Wildcat fans have made the trip to watch their team play tonight. <laughs> Broadcast for tonight's game is going to start at 7.30 Kansas time. And reporting on the sidelines will be Holly Rowe, who's developed a relationship of mutual respect with Bill Snyder. Now, usually we see the K-State coach almost running away from those sideline reporters, but Holly Rowe seems to have cracked the Bill Snyder code. I don't know if I have, but I will tell you what is I appreciate him. Is This is my 20th year on the sidelines for college football, so I think of all the coaches that I've gone through and you know talked to and interviewed over the course of the years, and he's doing something really unique and special in Manhattan, and I recognize it, and I see it, and I, and I appreciate it. So I don't know if I've cracked his code, but I appreciate and respect him, and I think he can sense that, and I'm genuinely interested in the process of what they're doing and how they're doing it. Holly Rowe will be interviewing the winning coach after tonight's game, and K-State fans certainly hope that is.